Hey, good morning everyone. Okay, back with another shop video. Um, I was looking at this, this card, and I kind of found it a little, my buddy's going to be coming down and getting this pretty soon, and it, 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 if you can see, see that bubble? There's a lot of sag in this. It's a big card. I mean, I, I wouldn't expect anything less for this beast to, you know, other than that, sag, sag. Um, so what I'm going to do, or what I did do, is I picked up, at first I went out and I picked up a um, an up here bracket. Let me take it out. My bad there. Okay, basically you can get an idea on how something like this works. Well, the way the bottom of this is set up, this doesn't have any bend to it. It's flat. And this card protrudes so far out that inside it just fell too far under the fans. Look how far in that is. It's at least... A good inch so it's I couldn't find a place to put it it was driving me crazy I was like damn so I picked up an up here one so I ended up for some reason I grabbed two I got the easy I thought it was going to be different but it's basically identical it's identical to the uh, other up here one like I have on my card but the EVGA card does have a space underneath it that allows you enough room to be able to put the rubber bumper up against pull the GPU bar up and level it out so in the middle of my frenzy I went back to up here did a little bit of digging and I found this version. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this camera back a little bit. Um, give you a better view. Okay. So I think that's a little bit better. So what we have is the up here. Again, up here. Well, folks, please um, do me a favor. Remember to give me a like. The channel's starting to come along. I'm getting a few people. It's taking longer than I thought. I don't know. Is it me? Uh, I see people with all these tens of thousands, and I'm like, did they go out and buy them? Yeah, I had some guy send me a, a Facebook yesterday, a Facebook message. Saying, <laughs> two people, actually. And uh, I don't know how they do it, but they were like, you know, something about hit me in a drop box or in a box uh, and, uh, here's my number contact me and for so much money I can for twenty dollars I can get you one thousand views uh, I was saying no no I'm not I'm not playing that game my luck anyways freaking just ain't the right thing to do and I'd probably get caught anyways and kicked off of YouTube. But, all right, so here we go. We're going to unbox this one. Not a lot to unbox. This. Uh, I see. So this one. Okay, so we come. It's got a little rubber pad with a sticky side. Four screws. Right, so this one has, as you can see, bring it in a little closer for you. This one has a bend in it, so it's gonna go inside of there, I hope. And um, it's not a half an inch, but it's still a good amount. But um, it's gonna go in there and it will allow it to protrude enough. And another thing. This was weird. I didn't notice this till I got it, but it's. I had to double check. It's. It doesn't. It's not adjustable. 
it has its own built-in um, memory from what it said where it has like a, a rolling color effect to it a, a uh, runway something like that I don't know and um, so we've got a SATA power cable which means 12 volts is going to be going directly to it and it's it's chunky it's a, it's chunky it's it's thick and it's all metal except for the back side where the um, where the RGB is in I guess it's got a, a light strip inside of there um, it does have this already on it. Oh, I see. Okay. I haven't used this type yet. So this, I guess, just goes up and down. So once it's in there, you can find your sweet spot and uh, pull your card up, put this in. And then there you go. I guess it would well, have to be a little bit tighter, but... Yeah, okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I wonder how far this will reach. We will find out, won't we? I don't want it to go in here. Then it have to run all the way along. I don't, know. I don't know if I want it to go back there. This is pretty much taken up with all my cables. I'll figure something out, though. And then we'll take a look at what it looks. We'll take a look at what it looks like. I guess it can, oh, okay, and cool, it's only got two screws, that's strange, alright, usually they have at least three, so that means I'm going to have to mount it like so, get it straight, find a spot in there, pull the card up, adjust it, but at least it's you're able to move this. That's see. At least I'm not hitting. All right. So let me get my tools and uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. So if you want to know the name of this, it is the Up Here GPU Bracket G276CF. It's a 12 volt, kind of a rolling um, RGB, and I'm just uh, going to um, actually putting the uh, <laughs> putting putting the wire through was a lot easier than I thought. They give plenty of it, which was kind of kind of cool. It's too bad they don't put a little U. Oh, this is a magnetic, so I guess I ain't got to worry about that. Oh, nice. Goes right on. So we can just let this relax for now. My brother was telling me the volume last time was kind of low. And in my editor, I I checked and I didn't I didn't mess with the, the gain in the editor. And then I realized that the gain on my mic itself was really low. So if on that last video, if you guys were having a problem hearing me, yeah, my bad. I um, definitely, I definitely dropped the ball on that one, so I apologize for that. See, and I apologize. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Wow, what a difference on how far this comes out. Holy mackerel. Let's just see what it looks like once it's in there and flush. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It doesn't go up any further. If it had, I'm surprised it doesn't have three. If it had three screw holes, I, I'd get it, you know. Oh wow, this really got to go in a lot more. Okay. I see, said the blind man. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we're in there nice. Nice, baby. Nice. Okay, so that is, that looks good. That looks, the bracket itself looks nice and level. It's got a side level on it so I can see how it is. Oh, yeah, things right on. It's still off. Well, big time there, but that's pretty good. It's up here on the top. All right, awesome. Okay, so. What I need to do is not smash the camera all over the place. <clears throat> okay, so now we're back and I'm going to bring, ah, shit, good crap. Smash, bang, crash them up. Alright, so I know it looks like there's a little bit of a gap in here difference, but there's not a lot you can do because the screws are where the screws are, period. And the GPU screw holes are where the GPU screw holes are. So there's no getting around that. The table itself seems to be pretty good. Yeah. So we're still looking at... Yeah, see, this, this, you know, you know what it is too. I gotta loosen the board up. The motherboard probably could be twisted a little bit. Did this slide down and all? Wow, that's tight. That sucker gets on there tight. Nice fit though. I was very happy with. It found its own little spot. I moved it up. I moved it. I moved the bracket up. Underneath the between the fans, there was a nice little. Make sure it stayed on there. Did it fall off? No, it didn't. It's setting right on there like a champ. I'm just afraid it's gonna move for some reason. So I'm gonna finish getting this buttoned up and then we'll come back and take a look at it. I've gotta put the cables back on and whatnot. All right, folks. Honestly, that's about the best I wanna get it. You can see we're pretty darn close. We're just barely touching that line compared to where it was before, like uh, way up there. So I'll take that because if I loosen the board up a little bit and give it a slight twist, I can probably get it virtually perfect. Yeah, so I think there's a little bit more room for adjustment in there. So next time I turn this on, you guys are going to get to see the, the lighting effect, which I haven't even had a chance to see yet. I haven't used one of these, but like I said, it is a chunky. But um, up here, if you're listening... Really, you would be doing us a big favor if you turn this into a three screw hole bracket. Just take a little extra metal and an extender. It would give it so much more support than two. I did notice on the two it was giving a little stress. And take into account that cards are not getting smaller or lighter. They're getting bigger. They're getting heavier. Okay, so we'll be back, folks, again. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, and we're back. All right. Everything's in, powered up, plugged in, running. Nothing's exploding. Thank God there ain't a gigabyte power supply in here. Oh, I don't know if you all been reading about that, but some people have been having some pretty bad experience. <laughs> Some pretty bad experiences with that. No wonder they were giving them away. I don't know if anybody looked at the shuffle today, but virtually um, there was no power supplies on there. Actually, from the looks of it, it looked like they had all 
single cards with no no um no bundles and which I kind of always thought was a a rip off by them pushing their stuff that they couldn't get rid of on people I know I might fade in and out a little because I'm still just kind of putting stuff away but uh I know a lot of people aren't into RGB too much, so he he wanted some, um, but I already had purchased all of these because I didn't know I was going to sell it to him, and uh, I figured, you know, I put it on eBay, somebody would probably want some lighting in it and stuff and with this right here I mean if you don't like the lighting like with any of the rest of the RGB it can all be turned off so that's not a hassle um, I like this case it comes with a little RGB thing see there's no controlling this it's 12 volts directly in kind of odd so you can go with that you can go with a different pattern. It has quite a few padding. All red. All green. St. Patrick's Day green. Oh, green again. Blue. Uh, brighter blue. Well, that's kind of cool looking. White. I like that white. And it does the back. It does the back fan. It does the front fans. I like that. And you can also do this in white. You can do that in any color. I do have the cable to control this. You can set up, but you got to go in through the front and it can be kind of a hassle. So we got purple. Now we're back to like a runway, I don't know if that would be runway, it's purple, the bottom one's blue and green, purple and green, blue and purple, I see, how about if you want to change it around, no, all solid red, the other one faded, solid green, oh I see how it cycles, well oh, that's blue blue, okay, white again, there's a different pattern right there. Kind of a blinking away rainbow color. And that's kind of different. Oh, well, I can leave that to him. He can figure out what he wants. All he's got to do is press the button. Alright, people. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. We got a level uh, GPU. So that doesn't look too bad. Good sturdy um, bracket. The bracket, by the way, was um, uh, I think it was thirteen thirteen ninety nine at Newegg. And these are things I should be putting in the um, in my videos where it has the little link down the bottom, and I always forget that. Oh my God. It just I, I uh, someday I'll be able to afford to pay somebody to do this stuff for me, you know. Hopefully soon. So that's gonna wrap it up, folks. Again, whoa, probably popped the filter on that thing. Again, please remember, give me a thumbs up. I really enjoy doing these videos. I hope you're getting something out of this. Um. Yeah, yeah. Um those likes so if you can sub I'd really appreciate it a sub would be even better I mean you just helping me out so much you help out the channel so hopefully I'll be back with another one soon I'm gonna be getting that case it, it it's, looks like a Lee and Lee almost identical except it's better from what I understand the big Lee and Lee glass one but this one is made to be able to put a 
mini ATX in the back of it. I'm thinking about putting the 56, the AMD 5600G chip because it's the, the rear um, mini ATX is going to be used basically for a streaming rig because everybody that streams knows that you're always much better off running your stream rig separately from running your main machine that you game on because of the amount of resources that it uses up. Alright, so again, you can find this pretty much anywhere. I found it on Newegg, made by Up Here Company. I'd like to do some more reviews for up here. They got some nice fans. They they have a, they have some pretty nice product um, up here. If you if you're willing to send me some stuff, I haven't had anything sent to me in a while. I've been purchasing most of this stuff, but I wouldn't mind uh, doing a few reviews for you. You know, maybe I haven't. I gotta get to that 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 big number. You know, double digits. I I ain't worthy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right people hey listen i'll be back soon we're going to do a nice review on that case and then we're going to do, we're going to watch that case get built into a streaming rig i'm going to be putting the guts from my system in there the 3080 ti the msi board uh the 5950 that's going to be the front and the back is going to have probably i think i'm looking at the gigabyte mini ATX with the 5600G built-in graphics this way I can avoid the graphics card altogether it's not needed you don't need nothing to stream you really don't need anything you just need something to run the machine um, I mean obviously you do need something but nothing extravagant and so we'll see how that goes anyways I've been yappy 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 yeah, just tell me to shut up no don't don't do that. Don't mess with me. No, I'm kidding. All right, people. Everybody, have a great day.